Welcome. You're about to take flight with Central Focus Aerial Imaging. In this video, you go on an amazing short journey as we take flight in a few different locations and share a brief summary of each flight. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Our first location is in Bridgeton, Indiana. This is the famous Bridgeton Mill, established in 1823 and rebuilt in 1870. Bridgeton Mill is just one of 31 covered bridges here in Indiana. Our next location brings us to Centennial Park in Nashville, Tennessee. Confederate veteran and slave owner of over 300 slaves, William Crawford Smith designed this building, the Parthenon, which is the focal point of this park. Centennial Park is a large urban park located approximately two miles west of downtown Nashville. On July 18, 1961, six African Americans were turned away when they tried to use the public swimming pool in the park, which was, of course, supported by their tax dollars. Under Jim Crow laws, African Americans were excluded from this public park and its swimming pool until after passage of federal civil rights legislation in 1964. The next day, all Nashville public pools were closed under the pretext of financial reasons. It was not until after passage in 1964 of a national civil rights law ending discrimination that African Americans were allowed to use the park. The pool was, however, redeveloped as an art center. This brings us to downtown Nashville. Some call it Nash Vegas. Towering above the city skyline is the AT&T building which stands at 617 feet. This 33 story structure is known to many as the Batman building. The construction was started in 1991 and completed in 1994 with the capability of housing 2,000 office workers. This skyscraper is the tallest building in Nashville, Tennessee. In the background, you can see the Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. This white futuristic building is Bridgestone Arena, home of the Nashville Predators hockey team. The Bridgestone Arena Tower is home to Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame and XM Radio Studio. As we conclude our flight through Nashville, just yards away from the Bridgestone Arena is the Country Music Hall of Fame. In the 1960s, the Country Music Association was invited to create an exhibit on country music for the World's Fair in New York. They felt it would be more cost effective to build a permanent one in Nashville, so it was completed in 2001. The building's windows mimic piano keys, while the discs resemble records and CDs.
Our final location takes us to Atlanta, Georgia, as we are taking off from Piedmont Park, which is located about one mile northeast of downtown. The area of downtown contains the tallest buildings in all of Atlanta. The tallest building in Atlanta is the Bank of America Plaza. It's situated between Midtown Atlanta and downtown, raising to 1,023 feet. Bank of American Plaza is also the tallest building in any of the United States capitals. The largest building in the United States outside of New York City and Chicago. Downtown is the heart and the largest of the three business districts of the city. This area contains striking architect dating as far back as the 19th century. As we leave downtown Atlanta, what better way to view the city skyline than from the Jackson Street Bridge, the photographer's location of choice. Our final destination is the beautiful Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of the 2018 Super Bowl. It is a multi-purpose retractable roof stadium and home of the Atlanta Falcons. It holds the record for the world's largest video board at 62,350 square feet. Constructed in 2017, the stadium has a seating capacity of 77,000 fans. If you enjoyed the content that you just watched, please like us and subscribe to our page. Also hit the bell so you will be notified of future videos. Thank you for watching.